Okay guys, we're super excited you love the tour of our truck camping setup. We were only packed for a weekend getaway in that video, but we're on the last day of our two week Shenandoah Blue Ridge Great Smokies trip right now. So we thought it would be a perfect time to give you a sneak peek into what exactly we packed into our truck drawers, including some stuff we wish we hadn't packed. We like to keep all of our cooking and food related stuff in one drawer. This allows us to pull out the other drawer and use the other half of the tailgate to prep food if we were on the go. In the back, we keep our camp table, which has been a game changer for primitive camping where we have no picnic table and don't want to cook on the tailgate. This table is awesome and is from Red Camp. Our drawers are exactly 21.5 inches wide by 6.75 inches deep, so it took a while to find a table that would fit in that space. This one has two different heights, coming with S hooks for trash bags or dishcloths, and packed so small there's even room on top of it for our cook stove. This is our Eureka Ignite two burner cook stove. This is an upgrade from an old backpacking one burner stove and has really improved our diet and allowed us to easily make more advanced two pot meals like stir fry and pasta with homemade sauce. This stove fits two 10 inch pots or pans which is more than large enough for two people. In front of that, we have the fuel for the stove. This is probably more than we need for a two week trip normally, but we use a lot of fuel, heating water for our showers. We'll be making a video soon about our off-grid shower tent, so stay tuned for that. We have some produce here that doesn't need to be refrigerated, like carrots, potatoes, and tomatoes. Here we have a small bin for our forks, knives, spoons, small cooking utensils, napkins, can and bottle openers, matches, and other cooking odds and ends. On top of that, we have our cutting board, a definite must have. This one is bamboo, which doesn't need to be seasoned constantly like wood. It also has a slide out tray built into it, which is super handy when we're food prepping while driving or on the tailgate. Next to that, we keep a one gallon jug of water. We keep an emergency six gallon container in the cab, but this is the jug we mainly use for cooking and making tea and filling up our water bottles. If we're in a campground, we just fill this up as needed. We have two bins for our non-refrigerated food items. This changes constantly depending on our menu, which we like to revisit every four to five days when we're on the road. In general though, we like to keep basic pantry items like onions, garlic, salt, pepper, pasta, canned beans, cooking oil, and condiments like soy sauce, ketchup, mustard, or mayonnaise. We use lemons a lot at home, but didn't on this trip so I think we might leave them back next time. We also keep Ziploc bags and a small set of watertight leftover containers here. By keeping a basic pantry, this allows us to create meals on the fly by just picking up a few things from the grocery store. In the food bin, we also keep our longer cooking utensils that don't fit in our utensil bin. On our next trip, we'll probably just upgrade our utensil bin to something longer so we can consolidate. The most important utensil though, bar none, is a 10 inch chef's knife followed by the tongs, spatula, and fish turner. The front bin is our most used bin and contains all our cookware and tableware nested together, plus all the tea making supplies like tea leaves, honey, and a tea ball. For two people eating some fairly complex meals, we found all we need are two plates with lips, two bowls, a three quart stainless steel pot, and a deep 10 inch cast iron pan. These two pots fit perfectly on our stove and allow us to make anything we'd make at home like omelets, quesadillas, homemade sauces, and pasta. Make sure you bring lids for your pots as this will heat your food faster, saving fuel, and will keep it warmer longer. So that's the left cook drawer. The right drawer is where we keep everything else. In the back here, we have a jump starter that has already saved us on this trip and also a feller camper. This one is from TAC Life. It's tiny and we are never leaving home without it now. I keep my laptop and empty pack back here. We have two camp chairs that have really upped our comfort level. We use them to relax and to sit around the campfire at night. These are from a company called Moon Lens and they pack so small that they can go in a backpack. This is our shower and cleanup bin. In here, we have two collapsible buckets we use for hauling water, dishwashing and showering, a small bottle of dish detergent, some sponges, biodegradable Dr. Bronner soap for our showers, and our USB-powered shower head. 
We keep our wash rag, towel, and dishcloths hanging up in the cab so that they can dry out daily. We also have some power cord and clothespins for spur of the moment clothes washing. Here we have all of our fire starting stuff like charcoal, a barbecue lighter, and these fantastic fire starters. We pick up wood every few days at our campground or at the local grocery store and usually burn a couple bundles at night. We've been so happy with the wood, I think we're going to just leave the charcoal at home next time. In this bin, we also have this huge air lounger, which seemed like a good idea to buy at the time, but we never use it. It takes up way too much room and takes too long to set up, so we're definitely leaving this home next time too. We keep our clothes in front since we access them so often. These packing cubes, which we also use for our suitcase, are key here. These help us organize and separate socks from shirts, dirty from clean, and greyhounds from Magellan's clothes. And that is all you really need for an epic two-week road trip. Stay tuned next week for the beginning of our road trip series in Shenandoah, Blue Ridge, and the Great Smokies. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventure videos, please subscribe to our channel. We'll see you on the trails or in the water. Magellan has just got to have, apparently, multiple beer glasses. I don't know why.